Not long ago, I reviewed the Through Night Archer Mini, a nice little EDC style light. Well, now I have its bigger brother, the Through Night Archer Pro. And if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Just before we get started, I'd like to thank Through Night for sending me the Archer Pro so that I could share it with you. So, as always, we'll go down to my tabletop, we'll go over its physical and performance specifications, I'll go over its modes of operation, then of course we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we take a closer look at the Through Night Archer Pro, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So it arrived in this small cardboard box. Inside, only two items, one being the USB Type-C charging cable, and the other, of course, is the manual. Put those aside. Now, the light did also come equipped with the removable two-way pocket clip. Nice feature. It actually does work quite effectively. And it comes installed with a 1,000 milliamp hour 14500 rechargeable lithium-ion battery. And I just want to point out that that is a non-accessible and non-replaceable battery in this light. All right, let's go into its physical specifications. And of course, I will give all the information I'm giving you now, I'll record in the video description underneath this video. So the overall length, 3.78 inches by point at th 0.83 at its widest. And that, of course, is 96 millimeters by 21 millimeters. Its weight is 2.31 ounces or 65.5 grams. And there's one other thing I can show you. Hopefully it'll show up on camera right now that there is a fairly deep reflector inside of the light and it is of the orange peel style. So it gives a nice diffuse floodlight with a good amount of throw as well, as you'll see when we get the light out doors. All right, let's go into its performance specifications and I'll start from the highest and work my way down. So at turbo, at its highest, it has 1,022 lumens. Of course, that'll only last for 1.5 minutes before it drops down to 191 lumens. Now, I know that sounds like a dramatic drop. Actually, it is a dramatic drop compared to a lot of other lights. But when it drops down to that, it will last for another 145 minutes. So really, you're only using turbo quite sparingly. Um, and you'll see why, because the next is infinity high to infinity low. So the way this light works, it has that stepless ramping or infinity mode, as it's often uh, referred to. I'll explain how that operates when we get to the operation of the light. But at infinity high, it has 478 lumens, but that again will only last for one minute before it drops down to 208 lumens, which will last for another 150 minutes. Now, you can ramp it all the way down to its lowest of 13 lumens, and that'll last 37 hours. The light does also have a firefly, which is actually quite low at 0.41 lumens great for in a tent or somewhere you don't want to ruin your eyesight and that'll last for 15 days. It does have a strobe mode and that rated at 92 lumens and will last for 260 minutes. The beam cast is rated at 439 feet or 134 meters. It has an impact resistance of 1.5 meters and a water intrusion of IPX8. Let's go through the operation of the Through Night Archer Pro and we'll start with the Firefly. Firefly is accessed by, well actually all the light settings are accessed by the button on this end and the button is nice in that it protrudes just enough for you to find it quite conveniently. It's not in the way. It does prevent tail standing of the light but that's quite okay. So let's start with the Firefly. So it's a long press and hold of the Firefly. There you go. You can see it's quite dim but still there. Now, if I just want to turn the light on, I can do so. I think it may have come on in high. Now, to run this through the infinity mode, you press and hold the button at the back. It will run down to its lowest. In this case, flash number of times, and you'll know you're at the lowest uh, lumen setting. If you press and hold the button, it'll ramp up and flash again. So you can see that it's gone through its high to low and back up again. Now to access turbo, you can do this with the light turned on or turned off and it's just a simple double tap. And you can see that that is considerably brighter. Now while it is in turbo, if you press it three times, that's when you get the strobe. 
Now I want to share with you how the electronic lockout works for the Thrunite Archer Pro because like the Thrunite Archer Mini that I previously reviewed, that exposed button and the way that it is carried in your pocket means that it's quite easy to unintentionally turn the light on and you may not even be aware of it. So do familiarize yourself with the electronic lockout and use it, uh, well I, I use it all the time because it will prevent the light from coming on unintentionally as I mentioned. To turn the lockout on, start by turning the light on in Firefly, which is a long press of the button. You can see the light is on Firefly. Now press and hold the button again. And now when you can see what happens, when I press the button on the end, the light comes on momentarily, but then turns off again. So that's indicating to you that it is in a lockout mode. Now, I suppose it's not a bad thing to, you could probably use it this way by pressing and holding the button for just a moment of light. But if you want it, want it to come back into regular operation, again, it is a long hold of the button. And when it goes back into regular operation, the light will flash. There, so now the light is back in regular operation. The last thing I want to share with you is how to go about recharging the Thrunite Archer Pro. So like the Mini, the recharging port is covered under the bezel. To access it, unscrew it. And there it is right there, the USB Type-C charging port. And of course, when you plug this in, it will the light will turn red, and that will indicate that it is charging. And once it's fully charged, it will turn to blue. Having gone over the physical performance specifications as well as the modes of operation for the Thrunite Archer Pro, I think it's time to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing for the Through Night Archer Pro. So Gene and I are camping. I am set up in my campsite. Uh, there's some campfires around through the different campsites that you're probably seeing a little bit of. But uh, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the light. I'll start off with its lowest intensity. So it's reaching out now. That's the back end of my car and that's about 15, 18 feet away from me reaching it out the driveway. It's not going very far, but let me run it up through its infinity mode. All right, now you can see to the other side of the road, and that's about 60, 80 feet away. So plenty, plenty light on high. Let's do turbo. Just absolutely illuminates the whole area. All right, let's wrap this video up. What I want to do before I close out is to give you a side-by-side -side comparison between the Thrunite Archer Mini that I previously reviewed and the Thrunite Archer Pro. I think this is worthwhile because I see some significant improvements between the two lights. All right, so starting with the Thrunite Archer Mini, it's a nice small light. I won't go into any great detail because I do have a full review on it, but there were two things about the light that I felt that could be improved. And the first one is the fact that it has that smooth body on the outside. It just made it a little bit slippery to hold on to. Now it is a very small light, so in my extra large hands it was a little difficult to hold on to anyway, but I just felt that a little bit of texturing, some knurling of some type, would be of a big improvement there. The other improvement that I had suggested at that time was that the electronic lockout have a longer press to turn it on and a longer press to turn it off because what I found is it worked but you could still press on the button while it was in your pocket and if it was just one second press that's all it took to disengage the lockout. Well guess what happened? Through night I don't think it was because of my video but all the both of those things have been captured in the Through Night Archer Pro. Of course it is a bigger light it is a more powerful light it is more capable light but those two things have been captured first you can see the texturing on the outside of it and it actually does make a difference. The fact that it's a bigger light means I can hold it in my hand to operate it a little bit better than the smaller one. And the electronic lockout takes, I think it's four, maybe even five seconds to engage and just as long to disengage. So the chances of you turning it off accidentally are much reduced because of that. Okay, there is much to like about this light. In fact, I, I think this 
for at least now, will become my regular EDC flashlight, unless, of course, I need a much bigger one for some other reason. It's a great light. As you saw when we got it outdoor, it has a significant amount of throw. It has a significant amount of flood. It's just what you want in a small EDC flashlight. Now, there are a few things that might be nice to have on this, like the ability to tail stand it or the ability to... Uh, take the battery off if you need wanted to replace that and maybe even a magnetic tail cap but that's not what this light is about it's meant to be an easy to carry easy to operate flashlight and it fills that bill perfectly so as i mentioned all the information that i've given you will be recorded in the video description below if you have any comments, any questions, uh, please put those in the comments section. Where you can purchase this light will, of course, also be in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.